I want to take a few minutes to talk to you about working with nine slice scaling and symbols and what that means. If you have, suppose I've got my design out here and what I want to do is I want to take this banner thing and I'd like to stretch it. So I put it out here and I'm like, okay, I want to make it wider, but you'll notice, well, exactly what it's doing, right? Well, we could go in and do a bunch of things here. I could, this is one of my methods, double click on the group, switch my direct selection tool or white arrow, drag across the points over here, and then just shift drag, whoops, shift drag one of the points if I can grab it. And I can do that, right? Okay, well, that's great and all, but I want to make it easier. So what we can do is we can take this object and we can save it as a symbol and use what's called nine slice scaling. This is pretty cool. If I select the object and go to symbols over here, you'll see that, well, it's not saved over there yet. So I can just come out here and either click on new symbol or drag the, the object, the group, right into the symbols panel. If I click here and say, okay, new symbol, I'll call this banner for instance. And I'm not screaming at it, I'm just typing it, banner. And you'll see this type really doesn't matter at all because this is mostly for flash. But if you look right here, you're gonna see enable guides for nine slice scaling and align to pixel grid, which is great if you're working with web work, for instance. But enable guides for nine slice scaling is what we wanna turn on in this case. So if I click okay, you'll see that it puts it over here as a symbol. And out here on the artboard, this is called a symbol instance. That just basically is referring to the original symbol. So if we take the symbol and drag a bunch out just quickly, all of these are referring to the one which can actually save uh, save file size, which is pretty pretty neat, as well as other things. All right, if I come back to the instance right here and double click on it, it's gonna say, all right, you wanna edit it, that's great, I'll click okay. And you'll notice these weird lines show up. Let me zoom in so you can see this a little bit easier. These lines won't appear these dotted lines won't appear uh, unless you turn on nine slice scaling. The idea here is that we are gonna make it so where the content or the content area that you are okay with stretching is gonna basically be within this area here uh, or within the top area here, the bottom, the left, or the right. It kind of depends on how you drag it or how you stretch it. Usually what I wind up doing is drag these so that they are just within any edges or any content that might not want to get scaled. You might want to want to scale it. So this looks pretty good. So we're saying, okay, let's just let this white or yellow area right here scale. So if I double click to exit, we're basically now in symbol editing mode. Double click to exit and I'll zoom out a little bit and you'll see that it looks pretty much the same. I'm going to click on it and this time I'm going to drag to stretch it and you'll see what happens. Notice how the right end stays pretty much the same and the left end does, but the middle gets stretched. Now, if I drag down, we're gonna have some weird things happen here. It's still gonna kind of do some funky things. Dragging in certain directions may be difficult with this nine slice scaling, but we could also do this if we wanted to really. If I double click on this and then take a look, what we could do is we could take these guides and make sure that really nothing that's going to get that you don't want to scale is going to be outside of these areas here. Now, the corners right here, right up here, right over here and right here are what are going to stay still or not scale if you will. So, if I double click to exit, zoom out a bit, and then I click and try and drag it going down, you'll see it's still going to look a little weird, but hopefully that kind of makes sense as to what it's doing. It's just stretching that small area in the yellow there. But this is pretty great. It's a great way to be able to take content. And you know what? You could use this for buttons and all kinds of things if you really want to. Um, it's your call. But this is just one example of being able to work with symbols and nine slice scaling.